What's up, everybody? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer from Full Spectrum Brewing Company, Fort Mill, South Carolina. This is Infrared IPA. From the brewery, our Infrared IPA is brewed to create a perfect balance between a hoppy West Coast IPA and malt forward East Coast IPA. Amarillo, Citrus, Simcoe, and Centennial hops have been added to rye and honey malts for our bright and juicy signature IPA. Perfect for hop heads, but with enough malt to satiate our malt freaks as well. Well, oh. So obviously a whole, whole, whole lot of carbonation. <laughs> Making up about two thirds of the glass there. I may have poured it a little bit more violently than normal, but uh, I didn't feel like I did it too badly. Uh, so as you can see, still about a half a glass of head and I can see a fair number of bubbles shooting up through the glass. Color wise, it's a kind of a a gold to orange color. Hold up to the light, kind of keeps that gold color to it. I'm sure the massive amount of head is uh, not helping the, the light matters much. But um, I'm going to go ahead and give that a second to settle down head wise. And I'll be back for the tasting. All right, the beer settled down a little bit, as you can see. I just want to do a quick check. Yeah, the color pretty well holds up uh, to what I was discussing earlier. Uh, nice solid gold color, I would say, now that we have a full, a pint glass full of beer. Um, let's go ahead and give it a try. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like there's an interesting bit of a different citrus burst uh, that's really front and center that I can't quite place yet. Almost something something citrusy or maybe maybe tropical fruits. A hint of sweetness, and I think now that I'm getting getting into it a little more, it's uh, I think I think it's more of a, a tropical fruit note than a citrus note necessarily. A little bit of funkiness on the end as well. Uh, that's maybe just a. A hair off pudding, but uh, still generally enjoying the beer, I think. Not really any kind of hop bitterness, just a, again, some tropical fruit, maybe a, a hint of pine, uh, a little bit of pepperiness, I think, coming from the, uh, the rye malts used, um, and then kind of a... Again, a bit of a funky note at the, the very end. Uh, the aftertaste is a little bit strange as well. I think that the funks that from the very end of the drinking experience is what's carrying through the most. So uh, it's not a very enjoyable uh, aftertaste. Just uh. Definitely some some unique and interesting things going on, but there's just a couple of a uh, couple off-putting things in there that uh, just don't seem to don't seem to make this a really great IPA in my opinion. It's not bad by any stretch, and the front half of it is really quite enjoyable. But that that back half. That's peppery and funky. Just uh, uh, just doesn't jive well with my palate personally. So others might uh, enjoy it more, but uh, really not not uh, not my thing. But that is full spectrum's infrared infrared IPA, and that's it for this edition of poorly reviewed beer. You can find all of my reviews, video and written, along with news, commentary, and more at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. 
Also, check out PRB on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Untapped. You'll find usernames and links to all those in the description below. Uh, also, if you are so inclined, please like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.